All right, this is clock tower. I want to grab the grenades. I like this map. And Gears 1 and 3 is one of my favorite maps and I'm glad it's back. I think the design is it's, it's just incredible, you know. I, I gotta give uh, the coalitions they really designed the map very well. Looks great. It has that dark feeling to it, the swarm. So there are two maps, the, so the clo uh, clock tower and blood drive and two game modes that you can play, uh, that is uh, team damage and king of the hill. I hate the respawn, uh, I mean the hill uh, in this map. I mean, ev every hill is is perfect except the the hill when it moves to the bull talk. Oh, got a lucky smoke there. But yeah, I think that's that's pretty bad what they have done with the hill moving it to bull talk. It's behind the wall and they can just camp and you can't really get to get to the hill. Oh, surprise! I got a boom shot. Wow. The random shot I hit this in this game. There are many gears, there are many great gears maps that you can take off from gears 1, 2, 3. Me personally, I am more of gears 3 maps. I love most of them except sandbar and hotel and another one that I forgot the name but yeah I'm glad they are bringing 12 remake maps and 12 new maps I gotta be honest I didn't really like the two maps they released glory and the other one not a big fan of but the way the map looks it's it that's that's the way they they should go for not not the map design that they that they are not the map design they've got with foundation lay forge you know the, those kind of maps it's like you know there's more pipe pipe shit going on like harbor those maps are more like call of duty so i pre pre prefer uh, the maps they oh this guy is lagging uh, so I prefer the maps maps like yeah this one uh, for example and and the way the blood drive looks I, lo I think it looks amazing the two maps they released they, the, the, the way they look is just uh, you know looks more like single player uh, like when you're uh, entering uh, Marcus Phoenix house from that point. I think that's how every Gears map should look, and not like Arbor, uh, more like pipes and the boxes and stuff like that. Ooh, I saved this guy's ass. So they also uh, there's also the new update that's been released with the with the two new maps. 
I have yet to notice any big difference with this new update. Uh, according to, to to the coalitions, this one is the the biggest update they have yet they have released yet. But no oh, grenade. I have yet to notice any server improvements. You know, I've heard that there are a lot of region hoppers. I think that's how how they call it. The people. Uh, change their region so they have more advantage but yeah i mean i've been playing for a couple of days this this, this, this developer playlist and and most of the time the connection is consistent it's very good you know i'm i can like just grip shot everyone i don't really have to use the left trigger while i'm oh look at this that's what i'm talking about that doesn't happen when i'm playing core king of the hill that doesn't happen that only happens maybe once a week, once a month. But most of the time my connection sucks when I'm playing core, king of the hill. It's just really, I have to, like, every shot I have to use my left trigger. But so far we, so far we dominate these guys, oh damn it. Shit. 176%. So that's the left side, so that's where the hill is, uh, when it changes, where the bulldog is. I don't like that, they really should uh, put it somewhere else. There's plenty of uh, space left in this map where they can put it. So these season pass owners, they can play this map. Uh, it will be available to everyone else, I think, next week. Next week, the 17th of January. Will be available for everyone on, uh, if they want to play matchmaking. But private, you will need to own the season pass, so you have to buy the maps. I'm not a big fan of the characters, I, you know, I don't really have any, for me, the most important thing about a game is that, that it functions well, the rest it can come later, but at this point, my issues are, are not the characters, but I, I know people are disappointed with the characters, and I can understand they released three robots for swarm side and plenty of uh, COG characters if you may call it yeah I can understand that's a big disappointment bang that's what I'm talking about I can feel that my connection at this moment is pretty solid I can feel it. I can feel when my connection is good and when my connection sucks. That's a thing. I think that's when, when I'm connected to a shit server, I guess. But look at that. Yeah, this guy doesn't even care to pick up the drop shot. I'm not good with this weapon. Not my favorite weapon. Don't like this weapon. I would prefer the Digger from Gears 3. It was easy, but still, it was not that OP. You could still dodge away when when they fire at you. Wow. Yep, it had to be me. Fucking sniper. So round two, we are dominating. 31 points I always run with the smoke if I'm running for the hill makes it much easier and when I'm playing king of the hill I usually top the, the, the table I usually end up with the most points because wow 
a bit of lag there but yeah I usually got, I get the most points because I'm playing for the objective that's what I do I don't really care about the kills how much kills I got even if I got 10 kills and I win the game I'm okay with it I've people on my team they get more kills than me but they still end up rock bottom Oh, shit. So yeah, let me know which map you prefer for the next DLC. Uh, I can tell you that uh, I'm pretty sure that most of the maps that are returning from the old Gears is Gears of War 3. Because they built Gears of War 3 with the Unreal Engine and that's how, we, how they make, made Gears of War 4. So, yeah, I can pretty much tell you that most of these maps that will return from old Gears will be Gears 3. Uh, that's why Clock Tower is back now, Dry Dock, Checkout, Blood Drive. So, yeah. Maybe some of Gears 1 or 2 maps that might be uh, released 1 or 2. I don't think uh, they will release many more then one or two but the rest of them will be gears 3 maps i don't have any big issues with gears 3 maps most of people who play gears 3 they they really know gears 3 had the best maps some people disagree some people agree with it but yeah my favorite maps are from gears 3 i like checkout trash ball trenches depth old town like you know they had so many great maps even the dlc maps were amazing i hate this weapon but i prefer to get it than instead than getting killed by it but this 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 team sucks first round we won really easy but somehow they are getting back to it that's the that's the other thing I really notice is when when you win the first round and the second round it feels like the opponent is getting a boost or something that's how it feels Bang! Oh, still someone's kill. Didn't do it on purpose. Oh, dead. Drop shot. Hate this weapon. Even when I get it myself and when I get killed by it, I just hate that weapon. Let me see if I can help this dude. Nope. Fucking grenade. Ah, oh, damn it, you stole my kill, but yeah, it was chainsawing. Ha, <laughs> there you go. You know, I like I like teammates that just want to stick to the hill, just look left and right, and don't go too far. It makes it makes this game so much easier when everyone is just together. Oh, my aim is so bad, but still got him. my better days but I can't complain about the connection I'm having right now the connection is solid Shit. 
Ты не было. Looks like this dude is waiting for them. Instead of going to break the hill, he's just waiting to make kills. Dude behind me should have killed him. You see what I mean? I mean, that hill where the bull talk is. Oh man, the enforcer is such a overpowered weapon. It somehow just got updated. And the coalition didn't say anything about it. You see, I always go break the hill. While the other people, well, all my teammates are just walking and, and searching for enemies. You should be quick and just jump to, just jump straight to the hill. Just break it and you will make sure that their team falls apart, you know. They will have to go and capture the hill. That's how you, you regroup with your teammates. Get the fuck out of here. You see, I didn't do any damage. You see, my teammate that just got killed by drop shot, he should have went to the hill. Two versus one. Somehow got him. And him too, that triple kill. Look, I killed from the behind. Well, we lost that round. 1-1. One, one. Should have won it easily, but yeah. I got 33, 33 kills. Normally I'm the one with less kills and more captures, more points. Oh, yeah. Looks like looks like I'm doing both both things in this match. Damn it. Wow. This connection is super good. Uh, random shot. Oh, the teammate just went and sit, sat next to him and he didn't saw him. Oof, that guy behind me got a headshot. Oh, this guy could have had me with the Lancer. Oh, that was a lucky shot. Not missed the first one, but the second one. my shot I'm out of ammo. Work. Out. 
see if I can give. Oh, got one. Let's see if I can get. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, hammer burst. Wow, look at that. Someone is using hammer burst. They really fucked that weapon, didn't they? Damn. That weapon went from hero to zero. Everyone was complaining hammer burst is overpowered or hammer burst is overpowered. Yeah, yeah, it was overpowered. But don't make it fucking useless. Now we're talking. It should be it should do the job from the diff from the distance, the hammer burst, I think, and from close range. Yeah, the Enforcer and the Lancer should be, should have the edge. But the Amber Burst is just useless. You can't use it from distance, you can't use it from close range, you can't use it from anywhere. It's just unbelievable. But the Enforcer, yeah, they, they really changed that weapon. Oh, this guy's chainsawing again. I think he's gonna break the record. There goes his boom shot. Bang. Son of a bitch. That's, cool. That's with the good connection, you know, like the left trigger, you can you can just you can feel it like you have a good connection when using the left trigger you can you're always uh, seconds faster than your opponent and when you're having a bad connection you will notice that using the left trigger you're always seconds behind oh man look this connection this is incredible this feels like the early access days So we're dominating again. Let's see if we can win this round. <laughs> he just killed himself. The power of boom shot. There goes the chainsaw. He's still waiting. Like, dude, just use your shotgun. No, oh, he got him. Well, I was a bit late to help him out. Teammate. So the next update, which will come out next month, will have weapon tweaks. Let's see if they do the right thing or are they gonna fuck up things in my opinion the lancer should be a bit yeah it's it's too it's too overpowered at the moment the shotgun is too op from the distance got a message from this dude i think he's playing I'm playing against him, I think. Let's do this. Oh, dude, come on, help me out. He's just turning on his chainsaw. Useless. 
Oh, wow. Got my aim wrong. Oh yeah, that's that's the same dude that I got the message. Oh, there you go. This guy. Ah, well, it was a fun match. Let's see what he had to say about this message. Campero, I think that means I was camping, yeah.